Hey everybody, I'm uh, prepping to work in my guest room this weekend. If you caught my Facebook Live a couple of weeks ago, um, I'll ask for your input about what color I should paint my um, furniture in my guest room. I was really in a quandary over what to do there. Y'all gave me lots and lots of great suggestions and gave me a lot to think about. And um, between all those suggestions, and some of you even sent me some pictures, I came up with something that um, I want to give a try. I want to see how it turns out. So things are kind of messy in here right now. We did get the board and batten wall finished. I don't remember if that was up or not. Um, we did get that finished. Like I said, things are messy. Things are piled around because this is mid makeover. But these are the pieces that I'm going to work on today or this weekend. And I wanted to explain to you what my process was going to be because I always get a lot of questions whenever I paint furniture about how I do things. Uh, this is not expensive furniture. Um, I've had it for probably about 10 years, so I don't have any qualms about painting it. The first thing that I did was obviously to remove all the hardware, and I patched, I used some just some spackle to patch some little nail holes where I removed some of the brass plates that were behind the hardware, and I've sanded those down until they're smooth. Then I also um, wiped down the entire piece with this sander deglosser, or you can use TSP even. Um, I admit that I'm a lazy painter and I don't sand always like I should to begin with, but I wipe it down, let it completely dry. The next step I'm going to do is use this paint in extra white semi-gloss, and I'm going to take as, use as many coats as it needs, hopefully not more than two, to completely paint each one of these uh, furniture pieces white. The next thing I'm going to do is use another uh, different color of the Sherwin-Williams duration. This is a custom mix right here, and it actually matches the spray paint that I used on my dining room furniture. If you um, it's a beautiful warm gray color. If you're interested in um, seeing what that looks like, go ahead over on the blog and uh, do a search on dining room makeover and you'll see it. This is the formula for it, um, but I'll be sharing it exact, you know, a picture of it when I do the blog post about this whole thing. So anyway, um, I'm going to water some of this down uh, and give this whole piece a wash of gray paint. These little nightstands have lots of little grooves and things like that in them, as you see, as you can see. So I think that to give them a wash of gray will look really pretty. And even on the dresser, look at all of that detail that's on there. Um, I think it'll look good, we'll see. And then when I'm finished, um, I'll give it a couple of coats of some satin polyurethane to help protect it. I am going to reuse the same hardware, I think. I went back and forth about it, but I think I'm just going to kind of spray paint it um, a color. It's kind of, a, you can see over there, it's kind of an antique brass color, which isn't that bad. But I got some spray paint that's um, not quite as gold as that, I don't think. So I'm going to give that a try. So anyway, that's what I'm going to be doing this weekend. Oh, and one more thing. When I paint, I cut in with an angled brush. I'll cut in, you know, all the places that are not flat. I'll do that first. And then um, I'll do one side at a time. Before it dries, I'll, re I'll roll the flat part. Now I've used these kind of rollers before and I've had trouble with them gunking up and they get to where they don't even roll. They just kind of slide and smear the paint on. But I talked to the guys at Sherwin-Williams yesterday and he recommended this brand of this roller he said it does a good job of not gunking up. It actually does roll. So we'll see how it does. Wish me luck. Okay, here we are after one coat of paint. It certainly doesn't look very pretty right now. Um, kind of uh, streaky looking and obviously it needs a second coat. It might even need a third. But this is how it's looking so far. I'm a little bit concerned about that. See how that's doing right there? Um, I'm not sure if it's because there's such a cheap finish on this furniture or what, but I'm a little bit concerned about that. We'll see how it looks once I completely let this dry and put the second coat on it. All right, so here I am back the next day. 
I've got these painted out white. I put two coats of paint on the entire thing, and I actually put three coats of paint on the flat surfaces. This was such a dark finish that more of it was showing through than I wanted to. Now you might notice that with two coats of paint, it's a little bit dark, but can you see it don't have, I don't have complete coverage, but that's okay because I'm going to be putting the gray wash on this, so I think it'll be just fine. Um, if it didn't take care of it, or if I wasn't doing that, I would continue painting uh, until I had completely solid coverage. Okay, so now that I'm gonna um, apply the gray wash to the finished pieces, or the painted pieces, let me recap how I'm going to do that. You recall I said this was a custom mix of a beautiful gray color. Um, of anodized bronze rust-oleum spray paints. This is the formula. I'm going to mix it with water and the way I got the little gizmo I like to use is this little cup right here that you can buy plastic liners for. Just put it down in there. I'll pour some paint into this then I'll add some water to it. Mix it up really well. I've got an inexpensive brush that I'm going to be applying it with. This is just a very inexpensive brush. And then as I go, I'll just be wiping it with a rag to get the finish that I'm after. So here's my gray wash all mixed up. Um, I do not have an exact portion proportion for you. Um, it's just, you can see that it's kind of watery. It's not nearly as thick as the paint itself would be. My suggestion is that you, um, I can say it has more paint and that it does have water. Uh, but my suggestion is to mix some up, if you've never done this before especially, uh, mix some up and then test it out on a spot um, that you're gonna paint and make sure it's the consistency that you want it to be. I want it to be thin enough that it goes down into all the grooves on this furniture really well so that when I apply it and then wipe away the excess. The dark will remain in the grooves. I want it thick enough to do that, but I want it thin enough so that it doesn't make the entire piece of furniture look gray. If you don't like the consistency that you've come up with or the look that you're getting, you can always add more paint to make it thicker or you can also add water to make it thinner. So let me get started and see how it goes. Okay, so let me show you how I do this. It's really easy. Um, it looks bad, but I put a little bit of a thick coat of paint on here. It doesn't look washed at all, does it? And you don't want to have to be in a hurry, but you do need to be a little bit quick so your paint doesn't dry. So you put a little bit of, you put the paint where you want the wash to be, and I'm trying to get it in the grooves, remember. And then once you've put on some paint, work in small areas, not large areas. Then just take a rag and wipe it down as much as you want to. And you can see it leaves the nice um, gray in the dark grooves. So here's the piece all finished. I've put the wash on all over the piece. You can see how nicely it got into the grooves. Now it's your choice how heavy you go with this. And I think in my case, I went slightly heavy, but this was intentional. If you don't want it to be as heavy, I would suggest watering down your paint a little more and working in smaller spots um, to avoid wipe, um, the um, paint drying and you can wipe the paint, more of the paint off more quickly. I think also that this is a look that works well with a slightly, uh, maybe a shabby chic look. Um, if you're looking for a modern look, I don't know that this would work for you, but I really love how it turned out. Now I'm getting ready to apply a coat of polyurethane or two, and then I'm gonna spray paint the hardware and put it back onto the piece and we'll take a look at the finished nightstand. Before I show you the completed and all prettied up nightstand, 
I wanted to show you the difference between the original hardware and the now painted hardware. The one that I'm holding in my hand is the original antique gold looking hardware, almost antique brass looking. And this is the new painted hardware. Even though it looks black here on the camera, it's really a dark antique um, metallic charcoal gray looking color. It's really pretty. I just can't capture the, the silverness of it here on the camera. It's not doing a good job of it. But the paint that I used is this Rust-Oleum metallic in the color Soft Iron. If you take a look at the cap, you can see that it's really more of a dark silver. It's not black. All right, and here is the finished nightstand, all accessorized and looking really pretty in my bedroom. Really like this washed look. It fits in perfectly with the decor that I've got going in the rest of the room. There are actually two nightstands in this room and I'll pan across to the other side. You can see that the other nightstand is over there and I did paint it to look exactly like this one. And I'm also giving you a little peek at the pretty uh, bedding that's on this bed. Um, I think it's really coming together nicely. The whole room uh, is turning into this cozy, inviting guest room, bedroom retreat that I really wanted it to be. So let me know down in the comments if you've got any questions about doing this process on your own furniture and I'll be happy to try to help.